What is up my shredheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little armadillos install. Step one, take off that cap and cut just the tip. There you go, that's just the tip. And then step two, remove valve stem. There it goes. So we're just adding a little booster to it just because I lost a little bit when uh when I pulled out that nail that was a pretty big hole and also when I added uh the first batch it was only uh I did only eight ounces he recommends 12 ounces in here so stick it in and squeeze squeeze it and pump it just pump it Oh man, I already see the comments coming. That's about all of it. And then next, put that valve stem back in. We're gonna pump that bad boy back up. This is the Milwaukee M12 pump. This thing's awesome. Just turn this bad boy on. I'm gonna set it to 29. Cause I'll lose a little bit when I'm taking this off. Screw it on, and boom, hit that. And now it's done. Try to get that bad boy off as quick as possible. That bad boy back on. Give that tire a few spins. And that's it, guys. Armadillos. Booster pack installed. Boom. And it's still holding pretty strong, guys. That's it right here. Still good. Heck yeah, armadillos. That's what I'm talking about. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick armadillos tutorial. If you're interested in purchasing, check those discount codes below. And just remember, those are limited, so once they're gone, they're gone. And uh, we will be having a giveaway here pretty soon, guys. So I'm pretty excited about that. That'll be pretty fun. So today it's been storming all day. It finally let up down here. Um, so we're just going to go for just a short cruise today. No crazy long-range testings. Um, I've been pretty uh, sore from sitting on this seat for so many miles. So we're just riding down to the beach and we're going to check out uh, just what it looks like out there with the clouds. I'm sure it looks pretty badass after that uh, storm passed by. But it turned out to be a beautiful day, guys. So I'm pretty stoked. And I'm, I forgot you guys can hear me when I'm going fast, so I don't know why I'm not cruising. Full throttle on the grass. I think we're going like 25. Ah, it's so bumpy. This is awesome. Yee. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. That was awesome. Just make sure you do stand up when you do that kind of riding. That's crazy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> ah, guys, finally a nice, cool, relaxing not 95 degree day this is awesome i think it's like 79 degrees right now it's not bad at all horses yeah they're out just chilling hi horse i love animals they're so cool hey got the big boy hi hi buds how are you doing how are you Hi, buddy. I don't know horses eat leaves. That's cool. 
Bye, homie. Peace out. That was a cool hat. I am definitely going home on Raspberry Road. For sure. I'm going to tear them things out. Damn, it's awesome. The sun fully came out. Stoked. Give us some light. But it's actually like still cool out so I can wear this raincoat. I hope you guys have been enjoying my content recently. I've been having such a good time making it. I think I'll figure out some more uh, cool ideas. If you guys leave a comment down below, just let me know anything you'd like for me to try out. Let's not get hit by a truck. How come trucks like to cut me off? Crazy. That's crazy. Always got a recorder over this bridge. Oh, cool. We got headlights. That's tight. Let's see if our quest homies are out. There they are. Another cycle sports. So close to the beach. That place is good. Two dips. And then they have a Dairy Queen right up the street. I'd rather get some real ice cream than Dairy Queen any day. Oh, the ocean looks nice. Now if you can see the clouds, wow. The clouds look beautiful. I kind of wish I brought my drone to fly it out to that lighthouse. Super calm. They were jamming. Cars, guys, yeah. Whoa, that was a biscuit burner. Always be aware of what's in the road, guys. Little holes can definitely uh, knock you off. Scary. Man, today is one of those just like lazy, chill type of days. Relaxing, definitely. I dig it. I dig being out here. I dig being alive. Hell yeah. Oh, that guy's pedaling on a kayak. That's tight. those things are. Now we need a boat. Little known fact about Shreddy. Did you guys know that Spanish was my first language? Um, I learned uh, English when I got to the States. I moved to uh, Kentucky, Fort Knox, Kentucky when I was about six years old. And my first words were, happy birthday to you and uh, old McDonald had a farm. So those were my first like, I guess words and sentences <laughs> in English. So little known fact, I may ask one of these little known fact questions in uh, my giveaways. So be on the lookout for those. Just remember these little shreddy facts. Hey guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you guys think about the Tuffy liners. Um, mine did come in, but I think I'm gonna hold off just to test out how long that armadillo's holds out before it starts leaking, if it does, which hopefully it doesn't. But uh, 
in case it does i do have two extra inner tubes in my book bag so we'll we will be good and i have all the tools so no worries on that but just let me know what you guys think about tuffy liners if what are your experiences with it so just let me know comment down below thanks guys Yee! all right guys that place is crowded Ooh, what the hell was that? See if the armadillo has worked that time. <laughs> I think that was just plastic. I think soon I'm gonna get my fishing license and maybe do like a, uh, a little Super 73 fishing adventure. Cause I have these little cup holders that you can, um, they're like clamped, they clamp onto anything. So you can clamp it onto the uh, clamp it onto the bike and unscrew the bottom part of it and stick a fishing pole in them. There's two of them, so you can stick two fishing poles in there. So that'd be kind of cool, just cruising with two big old fishing rods and heading to the beach, catching some flounder, bringing it back home. But I'll have to figure out how to get a, a, a cool, maybe I'll get one of those cooler backpacks so I can bring a fish home with me. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see something like that. I feel like that'd be pretty fun if, if I do catch something, you know? So, man, look how beautiful that water is. It's like so still. guys check out all these boats so sick I don't see any e-boats though guys hey guys in the comments below let me know what was your first experience with the e-bike what was the first e-bike you rode and how was it for you for me it was last year I was at Dewey Beach surf shop and the owner owns a white Z1 um, and I saw it out there every day and I just had to go inside and ask him, yo bro, let me, can I try that thing out? And he was totally down. I tried that bad boy out. As soon as I hit the throttle, man, it was just a smile on my face that, I, that wouldn't leave. So since then, I couldn't stop dreaming about like just having an e-bike in general, a Super 73. Uh, then the RX pre-orders came out and that was pretty much the nail in the coffin. I pre-ordered the RX on February 10th and that was it from there now i'm hooked guys oh look the wind turbine's off oh, that's cool i wish i could drive in there i don't know if i get in trouble but it looks really neat back there all right here's another one of our favorite spots nature Just look at it guys, look at it! That's so crazy I got walks all the way out there. up a little bit you got this it's like a little race course Remember guys, 60-40, 60-40, 60-40. All right, let's cruise over this bridge. That is beauty. 
beauty right there, guys. All right, guys, we made it to Raspberry Road. We're about to grub for a little bit here in a second. cruising at 29 miles per hour currently going uphill now we're on a flat at 30 you guys like my newscaster voice hey do you guys remember animal from uh muppet babies if you guys remember who that is comment down below and let me know if i did a good impression Raspberry Road, yeah! I love this place. Oh, uh, we've made it to our destination, Raspberry. Uh, oh no, wait a minute. Uh, uh, are they, uh, these are okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. I thought they were all gone. Mm-hmm. There are so many. So many. So many to eat, so many for free. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that's a big juicy one. Just, in a, just so you know, guys, if you guys pick these, they do have thorns, so be careful. And bugs. But that's the risk you gotta take for great rewards. Or probably eating ticks. Look at these little guys. Perfect raspberries. Chilling and a chilling, chilling and a chilling. I mm. got the trip. Ain't too little bushes. What I like about this bike is being able to grab it from right there. Awesome. Man, them things are so good. All right, we're gonna ride through some grass. Um, up around where the U D uh, building is. Just scoping out, making sure there isn't any security right now. I don't see anybody. I don't see. Any. Look at this big old field, guys. Yeah, yeah. I gotta stand up when I do this. Oh, this is a bumpy field, guys. And a wet field. That was fun. Oh, it's fun. What is this? Whoa, that was fun. That was quite fun. Oh, this hill is quite soft. Oh, God. What's up, Birdie? Suspension handles so well on this thing. I dig it. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. I dig it. If I could only hit 35, guys. This car has been behind me for a second now. All right, I think they should be able to pass me. Thank you. I'll slow down for you. Here we go, guys. I like this road. You can just hold full throttle all the way. Hey, what are these guys doing in there? <laughs> Guys, I'm hoping to hear some word soon about my Huck cycles. I'm hoping it gets here within the next six weeks. So here's to more waiting, guys. I don't mind because I got this to hold me over. Um, but once that Huck arrives, we're going to be doing a little bit of Huck 
and 73 uh, content like together. I'm gonna get a friend maybe to ride this and we'll go back and forth. But I can't wait, I'm gonna have two e-bikes. One for transportation and one for fun and riding around trails and everywhere around here. I can't wait, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah! I'm gonna stay on this road. I was gonna hop on the, uh, the bike trail, but I just like this road. And the, the, uh, the breeze feels really cool. I love it. Look how blue the sky is over there, it's crazy. All right, we're off that nice long road and we're gonna cruise on some gravel. Don't take any sharp turns. Man. Not in the water either, I don't wanna get wet. I'd fall there. Oh, big rocks. That was hella fun. Go for it, stop recording. So let's read some comments now. First comment from Flinty Man. Killing it with the consistency, bro. For now, I usually take my fixed gear to a nice sunset overlook by the foothills. And I'll just take it in, but I gotta earn it because of all the massive hills. Looking forward to finding new spots on the RX. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> that was the father from this church, guys. Um, so say hello to him and goodbye. Um, all right, so, dude, yeah. Uh, I'm definitely getting better range around here because we don't have hills like you do. But um, hey, at least you earn it, man. I, I, I'm I'm probably getting fat, uh, not pedaling as much as you do. But dude, yeah, when you get that RX, you're gonna you're gonna love it, and you're gonna find way more spots. Here's a comment from. Are you guys ready for this? I, I'm probably gonna say it wrong. Kayu Kayu Kai Kauai Timachi. I'm Brazilian and I really like your channel and your videos. I don't really understand what you say in your videos because I'm not fluent in English yet. Could you please tell me how many miles your Super 73 RX can ride in class two on full battery? Your videos are very good, bro. I really appreciate it, bro, man. I, I'm gonna have to comment to you and maybe, I wish I, I, I could learn Brazilian so I could talk to you in your language, but, um, I, I can't remember what uh, that, we're gonna move a little bit. Mode two, uh, may, I think it was like 37.5 miles or something, but just check out the end of the video. And uh, I, I think I left a little picture on there, who knows? But anyways, Mr. Tamachi, thank you so much for the comment. Here's a comment from Mice Cam. Love the videos, keep it up. I noticed you switched back to the stock seat. Was your brown not comfortable? Um, Actually, it was way more comfortable than this, but since you guys know I do a lot of miles on this bike, um, it does get a little uncomfortable for me after like the 30 something mile mark. But uh, I sent it out to get it uh, padded up a little more. I think I'm getting a tougher padding and maybe some kind of gel padding, but we'll see when I get it back and uh, I'll do an, another install and a review of the updated seat for you guys for sure. This next comment is from Smokey McPot awesome name woohoo berries yeah that's what i'm talking about dude berries are awesome i just had some i love them thanks for the comment bro here's a comment from cali hooligan 0654 you need some blue loctite the red one is permanent and the screws won't back out anymore you can get it at home depot or amazon yeah i should have got it dude because i totally lost one Boom. I, I, you know what? I do have blue Loctite at home, but I tightened these up thinking that it was going to stay and nope, it didn't stay. It fell out. I should have used the Loctite before I left, but I was lazy. Thanks for the comment, man. You would have saved me if I listened, man. This next comment's from Alfonsi Le Duke. I hope I said your name right, bro. Thanks for doing this, man. You give the people what they want. Bro, you're welcome and I hope I'm giving you guys what you guys want. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial and uh, short ride. Remember to check out those links below for 
some of the product that I enjoy, <laughs> like Super 73, uh, Huck Cycles, Attack Form Foam Mount. Also, those Armadillo codes are limited, just so you know. And remember, please like, subscribe, and smash that notification button. Are you guys ready for a moment of silence for that subscription slash subscribe button? You guys ready? Here we go. All right, thank you. See you on the next ride.